Before I go on with the conversation, let's review what we have so far. Say this after me. Uh, I would normally divide the room uh, between the girls and the boys, uh, and ideally the girls would speak up. Uh, I'll pause so that you could say it after me. Here's the guys. Uh, Jose is there and, and Marie is there. I'll try to do it without my glasses. Conversación Español. Española. Hola, señorita. Buenos días, señor. ¿Cómo estás? Estoy bien, gracias. ¿Y usted? ¿Yo? Estoy muy bien. Por favor, ¿cómo te llamas? Me llamo María. ¿Y usted? Me llamo José. No quiero Taco Bell. Quiero ser tu amigo. Porque eres bonita y muy inteligente. Pero tú eres estúpido y no eres muy guapo. Eres un perro, un burro, un burrito. All right, now the conversation will go on. That's been a pretty good insult. Here's what Jose says. I'll say it slowly. He's going to say, pero, and you should say it after me. Pero means but. Soy rico. Soy means am. <clears throat> and you understand that it's I. You don't need to say, yo soy rico. Soy already means it. And rico, I go rico. A lot of times kids guess it because it's a cognate. He's rich. He goes on to say, si, sí, muy rico. Si, sí. a lot. Of, I, I like to put that in there because a lot of times kids know it anyway. Muy rico, they know that. Now, for the first time, Maria notices that he is standing there, leaning on a. I like to ask the kids, what kind of a car is it? A a a, a bright red. Lamborghini convertible and holding the keys. She had not noticed that before, but now she notices that. And I remember one kid said, what? How could she not notice that? I said, well, anyway, um, muy rico, he says. And he goes on to say, y no soy estúpido, and not I am stupid. I'm not writing this down because you've seen these words. He says, puedo contar. Puedo means can. Uh, can. Or to be able to. Uh, and it means, since it ends with an O, it's I can. Puedo contar. Count. There's the two. He can count. Um, we would not say the two in English. I, I can count. Puedo contar. Now, I put this in here because so often students can do this already, and they're so proud of it. The count to ten in Spanish. Uh, a problem is very often they don't pronounce them well. So, uh, you know, I, well, whether I let them see it or not, here we go. Uno. Dos, and see there, some are going to want to say dos, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Now that's a, that's a spelled diphthong, seis, seis, siete, ocho, see, some are going to say ocho if they're careless, ocho, nueve, there's that V that sounds almost like a B. Yes. Then he goes on to explain that uno y uno son tres. 
Yes. I, I didn't put these under here. Uh, I guess I maybe should. You, you, you can do that. Uno y uno son tres. One and one are. They are. There, there is are. And the fact that it ends like it does means they. They are three. One and one are three. And she says, ¿Qué? What? And he explains. And I have fun with the kids now because they say, they, they say, what are you talking about? One and one is two. I say, no, no. One and one is three. Tú y yo somos tres. You and I somos. This is our. We are. Our. And uh, the fact that it ends like it does tells us that we. Tú y yo somos tres. Tú, yo y nosotros. This would be us or we. There's you, there's I, and there's us together. That's three. Count them. Tú. Yo y nosotros. Tres. Well, that may give you something to think about. Uh, I'm tempted to go on uh, today, but I think that's going to be enough for today. See you tomorrow.